I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fiber of my entire being. How are you doing today, beautiful soul? I wanted to share with you my views and ideas of how we should raise crystal children. The new kids that are coming onto the planet really are different, so, so special. And how we should raise them is really no different to how we should raise any other child. But what's happening is these new kids, you know, people call them crystal children. Really and truthfully, that's just another label. They're just children. They're, they're powerful children, but they are a new breed of children. And what's happening is these children that are coming onto the planet won't put up with the way that you may have been brought up as a child or the way I was brought up as a child. Things are changing and the parents that have given birth and brought these new star seeds onto the planet have to change their ways. They have to bring kids up differently. Not like the old way. When I was brought up as a child, it was based around discipline, fear, control. It was authoritarian. And it was, you're gonna be punished if you don't do this or you don't do that. Blah, 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 blah. Things are changing. You can't tell these new children what to do. These new children are pure. One of the reasons that prompted me to, to make this video is I've just spent the last week in Glastonbury in England uh, with some friends running workshops, doing private healing sessions for a group of uh, Chinese and Taiwanese people that flew over for the week. And one of the ladies brought her daughter, uh, a young girl called Chloe, nine years old. And as soon as I saw this girl and connected with her, I just had tears of joy, of happiness, of emotion, just welling up on the inside of me. You know, my whole face was just full of tears, but happy tears, uncontrollably happy tears. Just so much love. And that's what these new children are bringing to this planet. They're bringing like a purity, a divinity, that's beyond what we know as adults. The way that we were brought up as, as, as kids. We were punished, we were conditioned, we were made to believe that we have to be like other people so that we fit into society. We were stripped of our authenticity. Now I'm not saying that every single family or every single parent brought their children up like this, but the majority of parents did. There have been parents for a long time that have been bringing up children the right way. And that way is through love acceptance, encouragement, the ways that we must bring up these new breed of children. Because if we don't encourage our children and accept our children and love our children unconditionally, these new kids now, they're not gonna put up with it. They won't accept it. They won't tolerate it. They won't tolerate the rules and the regulations that don't serve their soul. They're not gonna to go to school and be told what to do by their teachers. They're gonna have their own way of doing things. And if we don't accept their way of doing things and encourage their divine and inherent nature to rise to the surface and flourish, they're just not gonna put up with it. They're gonna rebel. And we don't want these children to rebel. We wanna encourage these children to be whole and to be all of who they are. I mean, my kids haven't been to school now for a few years. And one of the reasons that I pulled them out of school, especially my son, was because the teachers would say to him, Josh, you've got to do this. Josh, you've got to do that. And he would say, no, I don't agree with that. I don't feel that I should do this or that. And the teacher would say, but you have to. And he would say, no, I'm not going to do it. And he'd be completely defiant, not in an aggressive way, but just in a way that he knew what was best for his soul. And it just became too much, so we pulled him out of school and homeschooled him. And now he kind of does what he wants, and he's flourishing beyond all measure. 
He's turned into a completely new child. He was getting frustrated before, he was getting angry. And that was because he didn't like what he was being told to do because right in between the lines and reading certain books and regurgitating certain pieces of information is not what his soul calling is. His soul's calling, just like all these other new children on the planet that are coming in now, are here to shine their lights and wake up humanity and force us to submit, to surrender to unconditional love and pure acceptance, pure divinity, trust, nurturing, pure motherly love, freedom. This is the message of these new star children. These new kids, they're gentle, they're loving, they're compassionate and most of them don't like confrontation. They'll always try and find a way to mediate the situation and do it in a peaceful, forgiving, harmonious fashion. Whatever arises. Now, this doesn't mean to say that these star kids, these new crystal children, aren't warriors, because they are. But they will always try and do everything through love first. But they're strong, they're fierce, and they will fight if they have to. But fighting is always a last resort. These kids are extremely sensitive, empathic. They naturally communicate with the spirit world. They naturally communicate with angels, extraterrestrials. They see them. It's natural for them. A lot of these new star kids can be seen as strange, as different. Because to a lot of other children and a lot of other adults, they might seem a bit weird and a bit strange because they're talking to themselves or to the invisible space or they've got an infatuation with crystals. And if they're in an environment which is lower vibrational, like a school or they're mixing with children that may be not on their wavelength and on their vibration, they may be deemed as odd and they might be bullied um, and discouraged to, to be who they are. So it's important that we s support these kids through all of this and we as parents know this what we must do these children are so in tune with the energies of the planet and the energies of the cosmos they feel it they feel mother earth's pain they feel the communication they see the communication they know the communication that's coming in 360 degrees all around from from different spaces different dimensions different densities these kids, they see and know the truth. A lot of parents contact me and they ask me, Jerry, what should I do with my child? My child's not eating. My child doesn't want to eat this or that or my child just refuses to eat for two or three days in a row. And this is normal for some of these kids. These kids know that eating meat, eating any kind of animal products, sugar, these low vibrational foods, they know that it's not good for them. I've got a friend of mine and all a kid will eat is, is green runner beans, uh, broccoli, and it's all gotta be raw. You know, this kid won't touch anything that comes in a packet. And you know, a lot of parents find this really difficult to work with, but you've just gotta trust your hearts. Just love these children, be with these children. If these children are hungry, they'll eat. There are certain children on the planet that are 15, 16 years old. They've never eaten. They drink water, they feed off of lights because their energy system's completely different. A lot of these children are so, so intelligent, but they understand the world and the universe at a level that most other people don't. They see the world in terms of vibration, sound, rhythm, geometry, lights. They don't see this physical form, they see beyond it. And a lot of them wonder why everyone else can't see like this too. These new kids, they can't be manipulated. They don't have the same energy system that we have as adults. They don't have all of these energy centers. They have a great big heart. Their auras are not on the outside of their body. They're on the inside. These kids are different. You can't manipulate these children. They will see straight through your manipulation. You can't bend the rules in a way that it suits you to get them to do something they don't really want to do. You've got to be honest with these kids. 
you've got to treat these kids like an elder, like they're on your level, they're equal to you. You can't look down on these children. You also can't look up to these children. You've got to see them as completely equal because they see you and me and everyone else as completely equal. You know why these kids are here? They're here to take us from here down into here, from our heads down into our hearts. And if you've given birth or you're the father of a crystal child and you're living in your head, your children are going to exploit that they're going to run rings around you and they're not going to stand for it. They're going to act in a way that forces you to come from your mind down into your heart and live your life completely differently. Love is the only way. Love, compassion, divinity. It's what you are at the core of your being. It's the only way to live your life. If you don't start living your life this way, if you're not already, and you've got crystal children, they're going to force you to accept them by pressing every single button that makes you angry, annoyed, jealous, rejected, whatever it might be. These kids know how to press your buttons. That's why you've given birth to them. But the universe doesn't give you anything that you can't handle. If you've got a new crystal child, it's highly likely that you're what some people might refer to as an indigo child which is kind of, I suppose, the next level or the next place on the evolutionary cycle of, 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 of evolving adults, of evolving human beings, coming from a really dense 3D reality into 4D, into 5D, etc, etc. You have the awareness to work with these children but you've got to do it from a place of love, unconditional love, from, from your heart space, from this space of here, unconditional joy, divinity, wisdom. You and your child, if you're a parent to a crystal child, you're here to wake the wisdom up and acknowledge the wisdom deep within each other's soul and allow that wisdom to come up to the surface and be a beacon of light for everyone else in this planet, everyone in your surrounding environments. These crystal children, they don't have to say anything to change someone's vibration. This little girl that I met this week, Chloe, she brought tears to my eyes. I saw her from 20 meters away. This is without me even engaging in conversation or giving her a hug. This girl is magical, completely magical. You know what I feel? The reason I feel that I'm here on this planet is to create a pathway with this healing frequency, star magic that we use to create a platform for these new children to step up onto. I'm working with a lot of adults which are parents to crystal children. We're helping them release all their deep-rooted trauma from this life, and parallel realities, past lives, whatever you want to call it. We're helping them open their hearts, dissolve their chakras raise their vibration, expand their consciousness so they can become better human beings. They become fully aware and conscious enough to work closely with these new breed of children that they're bringing onto this planet. We're here to create a platform, a foundation, so these kids can step up onto it and say, right, listen you guys, this is how you run this planet. You guys have been getting it all wrong. Let us show you what to do. These kids are way showers. They're not leaders. I don't like to use the term leaders, gurus, teachers. You very well know that. These crystal children are way showers. They're going to show us the way. They're going to lead us into the golden age. But we've got to work with them, encourage them, elevate them, and create this path, this foundation, this platform for them to step onto so they can show us these magical gifts that they're carrying deep within their soul, within their DNA. These kids are unique, very, very special. Meditation, healing, telekinesis, these gifts that so many of us strive for and long for are so natural to these children. As I said before, the old paradigm is fear, control, manipulation. It's authoritarian. It's not the way that it is these days. We've got to change things. These following tips that I'm going to share with you right now are what every single parent 
should be using as their, their benchmark, their ways of, of dealing with the children that are coming onto the planet these days. And really and truthfully, it's the way that parenting should have always been. But my parents didn't know any better. I'm sure your parents didn't know any better. And their parents certainly didn't know any better. For generations and generations, there's been manipulation and control and fear-mongering. But things are changing. The vibration is rising on this planet. Now we know how to run things. It's really important that we create safe boundaries for these children. And, and when I'm talking about safe boundaries, I'm not talking about rules and regulations that they must, that they have to stick to, or they're going to be punished. I'm talking about communicating with your children on uh, an equal level, where you explain to them, this is how we should be in this world. I'm not telling you what you should do, and I'm not telling you what you shouldn't do, but this is the best way of being. Love, compassion, kindness, understanding, forgiveness. Show these children, share with these children, be a role model, be an example, show them how to be kind to strangers. Show them how not to be angry in a situation that is quite easy to press your buttons. When your child does something that you don't like, accept what they've done and then communicate with them and share with them. Maybe this is a better way of doing it. Again, I'm not telling you how to do this or how not to do this, but maybe if you'd have made this choice, it could have turned out like this and it may have benefited you better or more or whatever or however you want to communicate with your child. But communication is important. This is the next thing. We've got to communicate with them. We can't tell them. We can't enforce rules and regulations. We've got to discuss. We've got to negotiate. We've got to communicate. Without raising our voices, we've got to speak on a level to these children. And we've got to speak from here. Every word that we speak has to be infused with emotion with heart-based, unconditional, loving emotion. Because that is how we're gonna get the best out of these children. These children are love. They don't wanna be shown anger and hatred. They won't put up with it. They'll turn and go the other way. They won't put up with any of that rubbish. So you've gotta treat these kids the way that they deserve to be treated. You've gotta treat them the way that you want to be treated. If someone came into your space and said, do this and do that, you're gonna say, up yours, man. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna buy into that bullshit. You're gonna do what you wanna do because you're a powerful human being. Why should your child be any different? They're not. They deserve to be treated with the utmost respect. With the utmost respect. It's important that we encourage our children. This is an important tip encouragement because these children are coming into a space where it's quite difficult in a lot of environments for them to be accepted. So you need to nurture them and allow them to express themselves fully in whatever way that is. Maybe they scream or they shout or they cry or they get afraid, whatever it is. Don't see them as weak. Don't see them as troublesome. Just accept them totally for who they are and encourage them to be who they are. Not to hide behind closed doors and be who they are, but to be who they are in public. If these children want to speak to angels and fairies, whilst you're sat at a dinner table with some friends that may be more in this 3D, 4D reality than you and, and are buying into the old paradigm, if your child starts speaking about angels and fairies, don't be embarrassed. Allow your child to speak about angel, angels and fairies. Say to your child, what's their name? What do they look like? Wow, that's amazing. Encourage them every single step of the way. Don't be embarrassed because I know a lot of parents that are embarrassed about the way their children are. Their children don't talk too much. They're very introvert sometimes. They play with rocks and crystals and they talk to the invisible world. And for a lot of parents that have grown up in, a, in the old paradigm with lots of friends as adults still in the old paradigm, they find it very difficult. So this is where the crystal children are forcing us, forcing you, all of us as parents, to drop into our hearts and accept them and encourage them just the way they are. 
not trying to change them like our parents tried to change us. Our parents and our school teachers, the government, society in general was hell bent on changing us. Tolerance. Tolerance comes off the back of encouragement and it also comes in close line with acceptance because these kids, they're going to do things that aren't how other kids act and you've got to tolerate that and this toleration comes from within. Again, it's a, an understanding within yourself that you have to be a certain way to engage with these children on a vibrational level so that you can communicate in the way that you need to communicate to allow these children to flourish. You have to be super tolerant with these kids. Discipline. I'm not talking about you disciplining them, I'm talking about you being disciplined in your own self. And these children are gonna, are gonna force you to be disciplined. They're gonna force you to check yourself every single step of the way. That's why they're here. They're here to light the path for this golden age, this new way of being on this planet where we live with love and compassion and, 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 and acceptance and, and kindness and sharing and caring, where we see each other as brothers and sisters playing this crazy game called life on this blue and green magical planet that we call Earth. These kids are gonna force us to step into this golden age. You must be disciplined in your approach. You've got to eat clean. You've got to meditate. You've got to exercise. You've got to communicate from your heart. You've got to live and operate from your heart and not your mind because your mind is dangerous. You know this. You've got to show your kids that you shouldn't believe in anything external. That all the answers lie within your own heart, within your own soul. Within this own cosmic galaxy that we call a heart space. You've got to be disciplined in your own way of doing things. And show, be a way shower to your own little way shower. Your own star childs. You show them the way so they can show you the way. Everything's a two-way process. It's important that you don't get your kids immunized. That they're not injected with the shit that the pharmaceutical companies want to pump into them. Because the controlling forces, they know these new kids are arriving on this planet. So they're stepping up their game. They're doing everything that they can to pump as much chemicals and toxicity into our environment to dampen these kids down so they can reach puberty quicker, so they can shut down their pineal gland, etc, etc. We've talked about this in other videos. I'm not going to go into detail on your pineal gland and your endocrine system and all of this toxicity right now. You know this stuff. But injections. Don't let your kids get injected. Don't do it. Whatever they say to you if you send your kids to school, don't buy into it. It's all lies. You know the truth. It's in here. Feel it. Feel it. Feel the vibration of every decision you make. Love and acceptance. Unconditional love and unconditional acceptance. That doesn't mean you accept your child for certain facets of their personality or their genetic makeup or the way they are as human beings living on this planet. No, it means you accept them unconditionally. You accept everything about them and you do not try and change them. You fully allow them to be who they are. You love them unconditionally and you show that. You cuddle them, you nurture them, you be there for them, you guide them when they ask you to. You tell them stories when they want a story. You give them space when they want space. Whatever it is, you don't try and manipulate the situation. You don't try and change them. You fully allow them, you fully accept them, and you love them unconditionally, beyond all measure. Beyond anything that you can describe with human words. You must completely and utterly surrender. Completely surrender into this way of parenting because these kids are like water flowing down a river. You can't pull the plug and stop that water flowing down the river. It's going to continuously flow 
and these kids are going to flow round the rocks, over the rocks, they're going to stroke the rocks and caress the rocks. It doesn't matter how many gigantic rocks are lying in that riverbed. These gigantic rocks could be the rules and the regulations that your ego tempts you into putting in place for these kids. These kids are just going to move around them and keep flowing. So the quicker you can get with this way of being, not with the program, because this isn't a program, but getting with this way of being, you surrender to the flow that these young kids this journey they want to take you on down the river of life where you communicate, encourage, be free, where you love, where you totally accept, where you encourage, where you allow, where freedom is all that is. No rules, no regulations, just an unconditional, loving, pure, accepting way of being in this world where you and your star child or you and your star children grow and flourish together and build such a powerful bond that you're unbreakable, unstoppable and together you shine your lights. You love strangers, your environment, the trees, the plants, the animals, everything unconditionally. It's so beautiful. You're so beautiful. You're intelligent, you're kind, you're wise. You're an extraterrestrial being having this human experience. You came here for a reason. I came here for a reason. We came here to shine our lights. So let them shine brightly. And encourage your star children to let their light shine as bright as possible. And when it's shining so bright that it looks like it's gonna burst and blow up, encourage them to shine it brighter because love is an infinite supply. It's not gonna run out. This energy, this frequency that flows through all things, animates and inanimates, it's what you are, it's what I am, it's what everything is. Let's feel this, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper into our hearts and connect with our children and allow our children to flourish like flowers. Water them, love them, be with them but don't try and tell them what to do. Let the rain come down, let the sun shine, and let them grow in their own special and unique fashion. I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fiber of my entire being. Together we really can make this world a much more harmonious place. Teamwork is the key, tribe work, one love, one heart, one human family. Regardless of colour, class, creed, nationality, financial status, none of it makes any difference. We're one tribe, one family. Let's be that human family. I love you so much. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel now. Share these videos with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones. If you're watching it on Facebook, please like and share it. Let's spread these messages, these positive messages. Let's wake up our brothers and sisters. There's still far too many people asleep on this planet. You have the power, the potential in your own genetic makeup to be all that you can be. So be it. Explore it. Unleash it your divine inherent nature. I'll see you again real soon, beautiful soul. One love.